Hi friends, it's Miss Ann from New Jersey Autobahn's Plainsboro Preserve. I'm going to make a series of videos called Critter Talk. Every episode, I'm going to be highlighting a different creature that you might find at New Jersey Autobahn's Plainsboro Preserve. It's a great property. I hope you might come out and explore sometime with your family and see what sort of things we can find. So today at Critter Talk, I'm going to teach you about an animal that might do this. Look at these chew marks on the tree. Someone's been nibbling it, cutting it down. This whole tree has fallen and it is a very big tree. Who could have done that? I don't know. Who do you think might have cut down some of the trees here? If you thought a beaver might have cut down that tree, you'd be right. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's not a real beaver, but let's just pretend he is. Hey. <laughs> so this cute little guy is the one who's responsible for chewing down some of these big trees on our property. Why are they chewing those trees? What are beavers doing? Well, let's see if we can figure it out. First, you need to take a look at the teeth of a beaver. Do you see the teeth on this beaver skull? Now, these are pretty big teeth we've got here, but uh-oh, the big front teeth are missing. Sometimes they fall out of our skulls. That happens. Well, this beaver has some large bottom teeth. Let's take another look at a beaver skull. A beaver's front teeth stick out in front of their lips. That way beavers can cut and chew underwater without getting water in their mouth. The beaver's teeth never stop growing. Chewing on tree trunks and branches help keep the teeth from getting too long. To gnaw through tree trunks, they need extra strong teeth. Fortunately, their tooth enamel contains iron, which makes them incredibly strong, sharp, and orange, because the orange enamel on the front of their teeth wears away more slowly than the white dentin on the back, a beaver's teeth self-sharpen as he chews on trees. The beavers did a lot of damage to this tree. Again, can you see those chew marks? You can see where their teeth were gnawing right through the bark. They are herbivores and they will eat wood, but they'll also eat the tender twigs and the leaves of plants too. This is a very big tree. I'm not sure the tree will survive that type of damage. Beavers must have some very strong teeth. Look. The beavers have been gnawing here, too. They sure do eat a lot of wood, those beavers. Here's some more fresh beaver damage. They certainly have been busy beavers. With all of the chewed wood that I've been finding, why have I not seen a beaver? While we were exploring the preserve today, we haven't seen a single beaver. Why do you suppose that is? Well, that's because beavers are nocturnal animals. They come out at night and while they're out, we're warm and cozy in our beds. Right now, the beavers might be hiding in their den, sleeping and dreaming about chewing wood. 
We know they were here because we can see the signs. We might see footprints in the mud. We definitely see spots where they've been chewing on trees. But unless you're here at nighttime, you probably won't see a beaver. But that's okay. We know they're here. It looks like the beavers are hard at work here. They've blocked up the stream. It should be flowing into the lake. But they've taken the mud and the branches and they've cut off the lake by building their own little dam. I've never been a great swimmer, but beavers are very well adapted to living in the water, aren't you? Yeah, beavers can swim extremely well. First, my biggest problem with swimming as a child was that I didn't like when water would go in my nose. But beavers have muscles that they can close their nostrils while they're underwater. They can even close their ears. No earplugs for you. Mm -mm. And their feet have built-in flippers. Can you see the webs between his toes? That would help him swim faster. And they can swim by steering with a rudder. The rudder's the part of the boat that helps you steer. Well, beavers use their tail to do this. Yeah, that tail is great. The tail is loaded with fat. The fat can be used to help the animal stay warm in winter. And also, they have that tail for slapping and communicating when there's a predator nearby so they can protect each other. Yeah, the beavers are really well adapted to water. They even use some of the oils in their fur to keep them waterproof so that they don't get so cold when they're swimming. Pretty clever. So beavers are such good swimmers that they can be under the water with their nose plugged, their ears plugged, and they're wearing goggles. What do you mean goggles? Well, they have built-in goggles called nictitating membranes. I wish I had nictitating membranes. Maybe I'd be able to open my eyes underwater. So the next time you're at the Plainsboro Preserve, take a look around. See if you can find the signs of the busy beavers.